Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll implement a REST web service using Apache Camel and CXFRS. Previously we had uh, implemented REST web service using Apache Camel and JAXRS. So here uh, it will be similar to the previous tutorial but we'll be using CXFRS endpoint. We'll see what is the difference between the both. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So in Apache Camel, go to the Apache Camel using Spring DSL and JBoss views. This is the tutorial that we are going to implement Apache Camel plus CXFRS REST web service. I'll be sharing this uh, URL along with the YouTube video. In a previous tutorial, we had implemented REST web service using Apache Camel and JAXRS. So, CXFRS is a component uh, which is built on top of uh, CXF uh, JAXRS component. Using JAXRS, we can configure the server to expose a REST service which returns an output by directly calling the specified resource class but if we have to use a camel route uh, uh, while exposing the rest endpoint for uh, returning the response then we make use of the cxfrs component so in the previous example we had seen that we were exposing the endpoint and then directly making use of the rest uh, resource class whereas using apache cxfrs we'll be exposing an endpoint that endpoint will be the starting point of the camel route from here we'll then call the apache camel pro processor which will set some response in the exchange and then that will be returned to the user so using cxfrs we are not at all making use of the resource class though we are going to declare declare the resource class uh, here but we are not going to return any response from it so this will be the major difference uh, between this uh, between using cxfrs and between uh, using jaxrs Depending upon the scenario, we can make use of uh, either of one. So let's begin with the implementation part. We'll be creating this Maven structure in Eclipse. So go to Eclipse. Name the project as Apache Camel hyphen CXFRS. Next, we'll add, be adding the dependencies here. So go to this project. The packaging will be bundled because we are going to deploy it on JBoss views. So copy this. Next, we'll be creating the resource class. Uh, note that here we are not going to use this class to return the response. The controller method here is returning null. So in the previous tutorial we were returning some value here. But in this we are not returning any value here because we are not going to return the response from this. Whereas we are going to return the response from the processor which will be used in the Apache Camel route. So let's create this. Next, we'll be creating the processor class. So, in the processor class, uh, in the exchange, we'll be setting some response that we want to return it to the user. Finally, we'll be creating the application context.xml. So since we are deploying this on JBoss views, the structure will be, first we'll have to create the folder meta-nf. Inside it will be another folder, spring. Inside it will be creating applica application context.xml. So our application context.xml will have the CXF RS endpoint as well as the camel route. Copy this. So 
so here what we are doing is first we'll be defining the cxfrs endpoint we have named it as rest service that cxfrs will be the starting point for our camel route from there whatever is the input it will be routed to the processor class in the processor we are setting the response that we want to return so this will be our camel route we are done with the changes we'll build this project Okay, so the project has successfully built. Next, we'll deploy it on uh, JBoss Fuse. For this, go to the JBoss Fuse installation and start the JBoss Fuse server. Let's install the bundle here now. Install mbn colon com dot java news slash apache. Camel FNCXFRS slash zero point zero point one snapshot. Start this bundle. Do a list. So our bundle has started successfully. Next, we'll go to this bundle and we'll see if our rest endpoint has been successfully deployed. So here we can see the endpoint. This is the Vadal. Next, let us test this uh, deployed web service. So the URL will be this we have specified in the application context.xml slash employees slash emp1. So we are getting the output successfully. So our application is correctly deployed. The important thing to note here is that we are not returning the response from the employee service resource class where we have specified the URL but we are doing it from the uh, processor class which is specified in the Apache camel route the source code for this it can be downloaded from here thank you